Stepping to the track, the one Crown Time Connect is owned by Esther Crownover of MacArthur, Ohio, trained by Earl Owings with Dan Noble. The two is Sam Storm, owned and trained by Sam Noble Jr. of Cedarville, Ohio, with Sam Chip Noble III. The three capacity crowd is out sick. The four is the Maestro, owned by Carol Gamble of Bradford, Ohio, trained by Steve Livingston with Bob Harper. The five is Bell's Big Guy, owned by Marguerite Mesry of Zanesville, Ohio, trained by Herbert Mesry with Jeff Fount. Number six is Grant Paul Ike, owned by Charter Bryant of Cleveland, Ohio, trained and driven by Tom Hall. The seven is This Old Art of Mine, owned by Reed Racing of Newark, Ohio, trained and driven by Dean Collins. Number eight is Come On VC Song, owned by Jerry Somers of Pickerington, Ohio, trained by Mike Metters with Jamie Dunlap. And for the outside of the nine is Henry Clay, owned by James Thomas and Peter Allison of Pontra Vedro Beach, Florida, trained by Virgil Morgan Jr., Brett Miller, Ian the Sulky. Swings of the backstretch, field in motion. They're all fan pacing and firing away from the inside. There goes Crown Time Connect gets the first call. Right alongside, that is the Maestro driving up from the outside. There is Henry Clay, and Henry Clay very impressively here crosses over to take the lead by a length and a half. Into the inside, Crown Time Connect is racing in second. The Maestro got away racing in third. A gap of three racing in fourth. That is Sam Storm dropping in racing in five. That is Grandpa Ike. Sixth on the inside is Bell's Big Guy. Seventh there on the inside, that is this old Art of mine and eighth and trailing the field come on vc song by the opening quarter in a very hot 26 and two fives and your two to five punters choice henry clay and brett miller rolling under the wire with five eighths of a mile remaining leads the way here by a length and a half under the inside crown time connect is right there in the garden spot racing in two as they bank around the clubhouse turning on over to the half on top henry clay with the lead here crown time connect is right there racing in two. First over on the outside racing in third that is grandpa ike as they paced by the half, they were halfway home and 55 and four thefts. Off the turn and setting sail down the backside. On top of the field, Henry Clay has got a recall thus far. Leads it by a length and a quarter. Grinding it out, first over on the outside, racing in two. That is Grandpa Ike. Along the inside, Crown Time Connect is racing in third. Perfectly positioned here. Second over the outside, racing in fourth and tipping three deep there. There goes Bell's big guy. Three quarters and one, 24 and two thefts. They'll pace the final turn and head for home and Henry Clay and Brett Miller is not even touched him yet and swung up on the outside. That is Grandpa Ike. Three wide on the outside. Bell's big guy awaiting the passing lane. Crown time connect to the top of the stretch. Less than an eighth of a mile to go and down the stretch they come. Henry Clay with the lead here but crown time connect is coming to him and coming on to the super stretch. Crown time connect is getting up. Finishing second of the mile was the five. Bell's big guy. It was very close for third. May have been the four. The maestro over the nine, Henry Clay, the time of the mile, 153, four fifths, crown time connect in a new lifetime mark. He's the one crown time connect, scoring here through virtue of the super stretch. A four-year-old bait outing by Village Connection out of a crown time Cheerio mare. She by Good to See You. Is owned by Esther Crownover of MacArthur, Ohio, trained by Earl Owings, nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Dan Noble. Second twin in 2003, home in a new lifetime mark, 153 and four, after a trip of a lifetime, the one crown time connect in Dan Noble. Photo reveals. One, five, four, nine. One, five in a dead heat for show. One, five in a dead heat for show, four and nine. Fifty-nine dollars, 40 cents.